What's up guys? It's your boy Paul. I'm back with you. This is about our reviews. And today we got the finale on defending Jacob. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What just happened? Are you mad? Are you angry? What did she do? How can she do that? Do you think that he killed this dude? Is he the murderer? Boy, that casts a lot of shadow of a doubt on these guys whenever that girl went missing. <laughs> I know Chris Evans was like, dang, what is going on? Man, I'm still trying to figure out, man, did he do it? I don't think he did it though, man. I think Jacob is innocent and he's just a normal boy with some crazy problems. I wonder if mama really forgot what happened? Or she just playing it off? I think she remember. I can't believe she did that. She like, I just want my family back. But you didn't, you, you threw your family in the trash. You put the baby album in the trash. How can you do that? I understand it's difficult and tough and hard. But murder is never the answer. The pot calling the kettle black. Chris, man, you got shoulders like Atlas. You holding rocks on your back, man. Burdens you gotta carry now. Things that you can't say to nobody. You went from trying to not tell her about one thing, and then now you gotta hold back her own deed from her. I do not envy you, homie. I do not envy you. Secrets and lies, secrets and lies. I'm still not over how she talked to that lady and got that article written on her, and she didn't say anything to Chris, and then she, man? Come on, man. Oh, oh, Pat's did get, he got bamboozled. Pops hooked him up. Woo, he said, it don't matter, man. And then he's like, just, just tell my grandson he know where I'm at. Does that, does that make uh, Pops redeemed? What you guys think? Is he okay since he orchestrated and facilitated the freedom of Jacob? The real defender of Jacob? I tell you what though, Chris did put wifey number one. Not child, wife number one. Man, they need to do Defending Jacob, part two, the aftermath. When Jacob wakes up, I wonder if he gonna know. I wonder if he even is gonna wake up. Is she gonna be able to be okay with herself? Can she live with herself? Murdering her own child? Chris did all he could to defend her. And in the end, he couldn't even save her from his own wife. But this show is good, man. This show is great. Dynamic with all the characters, good acting, Good music, man, that stuff at me like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? You know, has that thriller, slow burning essence about it that causes you to want to continue to watch and be waiting and angry when they don't give you the answer. Oh, man. I think this show, it paid off definitely in the end. That slow burn did blow up like a bomb. Great show. If I had to say one bad thing about it was just Jacob and his crazy acting. Not like acting in the show. I'm talking about like him acting as a kid. He is 15 though, man. I mean with the trouble in paradise too. And then they come and get him. Made me think, oh, homeboy didn't murk another one, man. He didn't murk another one. But he's just, a, you know, I man, it's been so long since I've been 14. I cannot remember or think about how I will be acting or presenting myself to my family. I know I would not want to be talking to them about struggles that I've been having, but jeez, Jacob can't catch a break, man. If he is innocent, he gotta quit it, and his mama still hate him. Then he go to kick it with old girl, and then she turn on him. And then whenever she get messed up with circumstances that don't even align or make sense or go together, he get the one accused, which turn mama against him again. Papa almost against him until he realizes old girl was trapped by some other dude getting kidnapped. Woo. Not so, man. What it should have made mama think, though, is that homeboy telling the truth about it this time 
was telling the truth about it last time. It's just sad we couldn't get them photos off of Patsy's phone, man. Would that be enough proof for mama? Ooh, I'm mad at her. I went from talking about bad to going straight back to her. But she did a good job acting. She had that eye, that heart. I saw the joy come back to her whenever she found out that, that the pedo killed the kid. And then that despair and that just, whoo, man, I don't know. It was like a black hole in the soul. Chris killed it too, man. Chris Evans, you are now officially a great actor. Like, like it even matters what I say. You did a great job with the emotion, the strength, the anger, the sadness. Bro, two thumbs up. I heard you in the Emmy race. I hope you win, man. I can't think of anybody right now that could stand up against you. Great job, man. Is it redeemable? I have to tell you the whole season is redeemable, definitely. Just the passion that family members have to go through in difficult situations. When stuff don't add up, stuff don't happen right. Man, this could be a thing which builds families together or tears them apart. The victory brought them together, but then the inclination of Dell, the seed of Dell, broke it all apart. It's a house of cards, man. It just falls down because it has false hope. It makes me think you got to have the right foundation for your relationships. So that way when trouble does come, then you can trust on the foundation. That's what I say you got to do. Man, I appreciate you guys for watching, taking the time and going through all these videos with me. If you have watched Defending Jacob all the way through with me, I appreciate it. Keep watching movies. Keep watching TV shows. Let's check out more Apple TV stuff. And I guess, say sayonara to Defending Jacob.